Hello beauties and welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a new makeup tutorial. I got the Deco Scarlet makeup palette that they did in collaboration with Sandra Deluxe. So of course I wanted to try it out and complete a look to share with you guys. And also if you did not know what Deco Scarlet is, it is the new beauty subscription where you get a palette every month and it's going to be like a collaboration with a beauty YouTuber. So that's pretty cool, especially if it's like a beauty YouTuber that you really enjoy watching, you really like. Um, yeah, so as I said, this one this one was with Sandra Deluxe. Um, you just get a box and inside is the palette and a few cards. Here goes the palette for this month. It looks really nice and fancy. It also feels really good. Uh, it has two lip colors. Three eyeshadows and two like cheek shadows and it also comes with an eyeliner and a lip liner so of course if you like to see how I use this palette and how I created this look keep on watching and I'll get right on to the tutorial okay so the first shadow I'm gonna go in with is this cheek color right here it's a nice light brown shade so I'm gonna use it as my transition color Alright, so that color isn't showing up on me very well, so I'm ready to go to the next color I'm going to use, which is this very nice maroon red color, and I'm going to put that in my crease. This shadow right here, I'm going to put this right in the center of my eyes. Alright, so I just popped on some eyelashes. I use Lena Lashes, Lashes, and Naomi. And I'm going to add a little bit of mascara to help my real lashes blend in with the false lashes. Alright, and then I'm going to take the eyeliner that was included and I'm going to put that in my waterline. I usually don't do this because I just like my lower lash line, my waterline just with nothing on it. I don't know, I just like how that looks best on me. But today I'm going to pop it in my waterline. Alright, and after I'm done applying that eyeliner, I'm going to set it with a little bit of this black eyeshadow here. Okay, and next I want to try this cheek color out again to see how it will show up on my face. So I'm just going to apply this on my cheeks like a blush and give me some more color. Alright, and the last thing I'm going to use on this side of the palette is the highlight. I cannot wait to try this out. Alright, so the highlight, it blends in really well and it's kind of subtle and natural, so I really like that. I want to apply some water to my brush and see how it applies like that. Alright, and to finish up this look, I'm going to do the lips and I'm going to use this lip liner that came with the palette and I'm going to mix it with this first gloss right here.
Alright, so I wanted to do a little quick review on what I thought about the palette after using it for the first time. I used all these three eyeshadows up here and I think they are absolutely beautiful. The red one, I just wanted to put it all over my eyelid. But um, I gave this eyeshadow a try and I put this in the center and it is super pretty. And the black one is a really nice black as well. They are all super pigmented and really easy to blend. As for these two right here, this one right here didn't really show up that well on my eyes. Uh, and this one right here, the highlight it is super pretty. Like it's one of the most natural highlights I have ever seen. It blended really well. That's what makes it look so natural. And it's just really pretty and subtle. I think you can build it up to make it, you know, even more bam in your face. As for these two lip colors, I only use this one. Uh, it's really pretty. I had to take off the first lip that I created because it was looking too eh on me. Like, I don't like pink lips on me and I like created something that looked really pinky. So I just put on a brown lip liner and I topped it with this and I'm really liking this color. Like, it's really pretty. I didn't use this one of course, but I always like a nice um, maroon burgundy color always. And then as for the lip liner and the eyeliner, the eyeliner like doesn't move because I did a swatch on my finger, but I don't know if I liked it for my eyes. I think it's because I'm more used to like creamy products that just glide on and this one is like the opposite. And the same thing for the lip liner, it like acts the same, but it's a pretty color. Alright, so that wraps up my video. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!